Hello Capricorn. Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to do a love reading to see what's going on with you and your person. Capricorn, if this video resonates, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. Um, you know, if it doesn't resonate, I'll have a link in the description box. It will be your playlist. Go ahead and check me out on my Instagram, you guys. As soon as we hit that 5K mark, I would definitely start those free personal readings live on the Instagram. Okay, guys. So let's get into your reading. I also want to bless these, the situation, the surroundings. So let's, if this works... Okay, so this one is not working. Maybe this is out. Oh, y'all. Hold on. Let me go get another one. Got too many lighters. Oh. Gotta open a new lighter, y'all. Can you believe this? Sorry, I'm playing with the mic. But I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everyone is doing well on their beautiful weekend. You know, there's only positive things happening for us moving forward. No negative things. All right. <clears throat> okay. So let me move that away. Let me put this on here and then bless this area. All right, bless this area, please, angels. Father, bless this area, bless these cards. Bless this reading today. Give us the enlightenment and the answers that we seek. Amen. Okay. All right, you guys. Let's bless in these cards. Oh, this smells so good. I love these scents. Oh my God. It smells so good. Bless in this area. Bless with these cards. Bless with these messages. Give us the enlightenment. Give us these answers in your name. Angels, spirits, Father, divine. Thank you. Okay. So. Let's get into it, y'all. <sighs> I'm feeling blessed today. Today and always. Put some lotion on. I'm ashy. All right. So what's going on for Capricorn, please? What's going on for Capricorn and their energy and their person, whoever they're thinking about in a relationship? What messages do we have for Capricorn? What messages do we have for Capricorn? Ooh, we have the three. The three of cups. Oh, my goodness. So someone definitely wants to move forward with this relationship. I'm feeling like there is some kind of celebration that this person wants to bring forth in this relationship. Wow. Abundance. Oh, my God. So this person definitely wants abundance with you. For some of you, they're looking at you as married. So this person wants to get engaged here, celebrate a wedding or engagement, some kind of get together where they want to make it the, the oh my God, a done deal for you. Like they don't want to play any games here. This is what I'm seeing. Hmm. Tell me more about this connection here. I feel like this person feels like you're the one for them, but there's a lot of haters here that you feel like you might have um, needed to walk away from this situation because of these haters or because of these people that are making this very difficult for you and this person to be together. And I also feel like you and this person could just be having issues where you could be having communication issues. And there's just like overwhelming fighting bickering and you feel like you can't win with this person but i also feel strongly for some of you that this is definitely other people coming into your business other people trying to make
make this relationship very difficult for you so you don't you know embrace the blessing that is about to come to you because i feel like this person wants to move forward with you even though it's a toxic situation whatever this situation is so it could be on their family on their end or on your end where your family don't want you to be with this person i feel like there was some kind of betrayal here okay in a ten of swords a lot of disappointments here but i also feel like you're healing from it because there's a lot of healing going on with you and i feel like you're going to forgive this person and maybe this is something that your friends or your family or their family or their friends don't want you and this person to get together because of something that really happened before and it took a lot on you um for some of you, you probably went through physical and mental pain and agony and it took a lot of healing for you to get back to where you were and now this person is coming in and trying to propose to you um, and trying to move forward with you this is what i'm seeing here i also feel like you know you are like turning a new leaf like you're not even upset with this person anymore even though this happened but i feel like this could be a lot of disappointments here um you know from a lot of different things that happened within your life okay in the reverse and you're just like accepting this and you're just like moving on from it you're not making it like something that you have to dwell on and something that you have to continue to be focused on now we have the knight of wands coming in so your person is definitely ready to settle down with you to have a physical relationship with you to um actually why is these cards are turned the other way hold on I feel like this person is actually ready to have a physical relationship with you and actually ready to have a committed, stable relationship. Now, for some of you, this was something that this person lacked, okay? Maybe this person is from your past where all the wands here is talking about history, okay? You and this person had history, all right? Um, and now this person wants to get back to a place with you that is correct, that feels right in whatever. And, and this is something that this person wants, okay? So I'm getting the ace of cups here in reverse, okay? So you are not sure about this person moving forward with this person because of exactly what have happened in the past. I feel like you're not permanently making a decision uh, based on this fact, but you're definitely putting a hold on this connection with you and this person. Now, I feel like there is someone definitely keeping their emotions aside, uh, keeping their emotions to themselves here, not trying to be truthful of how they feel about a certain person. I also feel like this person is kind of um, overbearing at times, um, very emotional within themselves by themselves they don't want to make you see exactly how they're reacting to this downplay of you not giving them the time of day okay now we have the queen of pentacles this is your energy here in the reverse i do see that you're in your feelings where you are trying to focus on yourself and your surroundings um not completely your family and friends who because i feel like this right here the five of pentacles i'm sorry not the five of pentacles the five of wands the queen of pentacles in reverse i mean you're trying not to look at these people who are trying to get into your life who's trying to make things hard for you um you're not trying to give them the time of day here you're trying to focus on things that matter to you which is your self-love things that you have to take within yourself and these people are really trying to be seen by you and trying to be loud next to you and trying to have your kind some kind of action towards you i feel like a lot of jealousy is here as well some kind of jealousy here okay um then we have the seven of cups wow so this explains everything with the betrayal here this person definitely had another person or an other people that come that really explains the um the five of wands here this person is definitely overwhelmed with their choices they're very confused at this present time they're thinking about what should they have what should they do to change a the situation they're not happy with what they have done with the situation themselves and you know i feel like this person is coming to you but you know they're going to come to you with this outplay of what they have done for them life for their lives okay then this relationship is a heavy burden a heavy burden to carry so i feel like you and this person i mean if you continue to be with this person there is going to be some great things for you and this person i mean abundance look also we have the um 
the six of wands on the back of the deck um, we also have the soulmate card the six of cups in reverse which tells me that you are not sure about this person but this person constantly thinks about you um, and they're also in love with you wow we have the fools here in the present moment where they want to jump right back into this relationship and they just want to start over again you know and i feel like this person wow they're coming in with an apology you know telling you how sorry they are about whatever they have done and how many things they have put you through because you definitely didn't deserve it this person wants a long-term new beginning with you they have a lot of passion towards you in the ace of wands they definitely just want to have a new beginning with you um, maybe start a family for some of you if that's something you're interested in or something you could provide and then we have the chariot here where this person has taken a while because they have a lot of baggage and a lot of things that they don't want you to find out about and they're trying to correct it on their own um, instead of coming to you with a lot of this um, negative situation okay this person definitely knows what they want look at all these beautiful cards are coming out here definitely knows what they want they're coming to talk to you they want you to listen um they could be cold at times but this person is very entwined with who they are and what they want they are so in love with you i already accomplished that in the fools but here we have the justice where they chose you and to be with you we also have the moon where this person has a lot of things that they need to tell you and it's either going to break this relationship or make it work but i feel like it's going to make it work because this person wants to communicate this person not only wants to communicate but they want to compromise with you to make it work this person adores you they learned a lot from you i feel like you learned a lot from them you know and this tower moment is here um this is the last card i am going to take out of the the present time but they want to undo this tower moment with you they want you back okay so this is someone from your past clearly with the six of cups and then we had accomplished out with the tower okay so let's finish your reading that's in the present moment so let's see what's going on for what's going on in recent times um in the future okay tell me more about this connection for capricorn on okay. this is such a beautiful reading by the way you guys been through a lot but i feel like there's so many i haven't had a reading like this in so long it's giving me goosebumps okay like you guys are so beautiful you know there's just a lot of haters um around you a lot of haters they definitely don't want you guys to be happy okay someone definitely don't i feel like they're this that your person is the one that you know um lightly lightly match to the gasoline or, or, i don't know if that's how you say it but you know they're the one that stepped out but let's see here all right so this person wants to come towards you but moving very slowly like we talked about okay so they're afraid of what you might say what you might do um but they're gathering their confidence to come towards you okay because they're seeing you as someone that they definitely want to be with they definitely feel like they can trust you um even though you have your walls up right now this is definitely a twin not even a twin flame for it could be a twin flame for some of you but i'm getting soulmate connection as well all right we have the queen of pentacles we also have the king of pentacles here and plus we have the six of cups in the present which already told me that this is a soulmate connection so you know this person feels a lot for you this person is drawn to you okay even if they try to move on with someone else they're still drawn to you now i feel like you know even though you have your walls up with this person you, you know you might just be a little bit standoffish a little bit um, manipulative you know putting a lot of the blame on this person um but you they still look at you in a lightened way they still have respect for you they still feel like you are the most gorgeous person they ever seen like you're the most um lightened person they ever had in their life i mean you are above everybody else okay so just know that okay all right so we have the lovers in reverse so this person is hurt that you left 
that you walked out okay you walked out on them and they're just hurt that you can just get up and go and not even look back twice you know they want answers they want you to fight for them you know um they're ready to fight for you okay but they feel like you you don't fight for them and and it's something about them you know putting you having you feel like you were stuck like you didn't deserve anything more like this person didn't give you exactly what you wanted and i feel like if this person just sat down with you and talked to you instead of making you feel like the eight of swords um and making you feel stuck in this relationship this relationship will be in a better place okay this relationship will be in a better enlightenment you and this person will be working things out and fighting for this relationship instead of being separate okay and then one more card please for this reading and then we have the Knight of Pentacles. So, you know, this person, cons like, they know what they have done, but at the same time, they're blaming you for, you know, using manipulation to get you back or make you feel a certain way about this connection, okay? Because they did what they did and you are so stuck in your feelings and stuck with what you actually believe in and what you want for yourself that is making this person feel like you're never gonna come back to them. You're never gonna give them a chance because you're always gonna look at the bad. You're always gonna bring up the bad of what they have done to you instead of just putting it aside like they're ready to do um jump right back into this relationship with the fools and not even think twice about what they have done and of course they're not going to think think twice about that because that's something that they have done to you um you on the other hand is thinking about how can you do this i thought everything was good but you have to realize too that there was always red flags here but a lot of us decide to ignore them okay um so we have to take responsibility of what's going on with that as well all right um but this is what i see for you you know but i do see good things this person is coming towards you get ready for that this person knows what they want they're moving very slowly because they're afraid and because of the baggage that they have and if they're coming back to you they want to make sure that this five of wands is corrected because they're the one that causes five of wands here they could have had for some of you, you were engaged or you were married to this person okay because we did have the justice came up in the present time which tells me that this person um was very this person is going to be very fair to you um there are they're going to choose you if you're not married to this person um but either way they want to be with you okay but this is what i see um hope it resonates you guys this was a great reading and i hope i answered um, most of your questions and i'll see you guys in your next reading bye guys